Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud, and I'm your host Harsh Agarwal. Well, this video is for all the people who want to learn SEO and who are using WordPress. In this video, I'm going to share one of the SEO strategy that I have been using from past ten years, and also a strategy that is being used by Wikipedia and many other popular websites. And at the same time, how to execute this strategy, right? Uh, so for this, we'll be using a WordPress plugin. Plugin name is Link Whisper. We'll dive into that in a bit, but first. Let's learn about the strategy. So, if you ever visited Shout Me Loud, you would know like that mostly in every each of my article, I have at least twenty to thirty links, internal links to my other pages, and that actually helps a lot in improving the you know link flow on the website, keep my bounce rate low, and at the same time, you know it passes on the link juice, which is a great signal for search engine optimization. Another place to look at is is the Wikipedia website. Now you know that Wikipedia always rank on the first page for many of the keywords, and if you ever go through one of their article, you would see like they have a lot of internal links, and when you click on it, you'll just find more information about that page, and that page again have a lot of internal links. Now this kind of internal linking is really helpful to improve your SEO, and something that I see a lot of website and a lot of bloggers are missing out on this quick wins. Now, if you if you are running a WordPress website or even any other platform, you should definitely take advantage of internal linking. Now, there are multiple ways you can do internal linking. One of the easiest way is you can actually you know just simply select a text and do it manually like this. You simply search the text, use the insert link button, and then it will show you suggestion. You can add it like this. Now, it takes a lot of time, and you know sometimes like you don't find the article that you want to link to. At the same time, uh, another way is by if you're using Yoast SEO Premium, they also have internal linking suggestion. I've also talked about this in one of my earlier videos, which you can go and explore. But recently, I came across this new WordPress plugin, which has everything that you would require from an internal linking plugin. And the plugin name is Link Whisper plugin, and it does a lot of things. So we'll just go through all of them one by one, so that you can actually download and start using this plugin. All right. So the very first thing, once you install and activate this plugin, you get this uh, setting tab. You can go to reports or settings. So in the settings, you you should enable this open links in new tab. You can ignore numbers. You can post type to create links for. So if you are also taking advantage of pages for to create resource pages, you can use that. Otherwise, just skip that. Then by default, uh, the number of sentences to skip is three. Uh, I would rather reduce it to one. Now it all depends on your writing style, what kind of articles you are writing. Usually, one is good number in my opinion. Once you are done, click on Save Settings. Now the next thing, which is very interesting, is the report part. Now the, the report part is where you know a lot of action happening. Like you can actually go and see. Like this article has how many inbound internal links? So you can see, like a lot of this article have zero inbound internal link, or I can sort it out and find all the blog post on my blog which has zero internal link. What I can do, I can simply either click on you know add, and what this will do, this will like search all the blog posts on my website, and then I can select the phrases where I think it it's a good match. So like for example. Uh, All right so the post name is update wordpress blog and let's see if we have something with the word update All right so this one there's another one and of course you know it all depends on the kind of article you're writing so you need to be a little mindful when you are actually doing such kind of internal linking because you don't want to do bad internal linking that means you know linking to a word which does not make sense and when a user click on it they find that article is not at all relevant so you want to be mindful about that right so like this you can simply add this and then click on add links now with the within second you know this post which has zero internal link has now four internal link well this is how easy this is now that's one part of it you can also count like how many uh, outbound internal link like for example if there is a blog post and you have not then linked to any other blog post in your article well you can do that so you can sort it out from here and you can see like a lot of these blog posts which has written in the past don't have any outbound internal link and this will be a scenario in on your blog as well because when you are when you started your blog probably few years back or last year your first few articles will have no outbound internal link so you can simply go back and you know improve find all those articles here and then start adding internal links 
at the same time you know i have already mentioned about that outbound links definitely plays a great role and in case if you are not aware of it just simply go to google or search for outbound link seo and then read this article on outbound link how Out outbound link improve your blog authority and ranking i'll also leave the link in the description to help you understand how this helps so if you find this articles which does not have any outbound external link and you think you can you know link to some good resources which is a great signal for search engine optimization you you should do that well this is not all and this is where this plugin gets more interesting so now now i have this particular blog post and let me show you the magic of this blog post so let me just reload this page and that's pr probably the most coolest part about this plugin that you know if you don't want to go into the settings and it will become part of your daily workflow so here is how it works like once you are in the edit section of blog post like for your new articles or for an old articles that you are editing go to the bottom and here you will see a lot of suggested link uh, which is suggested by link whisper the plugin and this is where it, it can it gets interesting so now in this article we have all these words now it suggested that this blogging journey can be linked to this article or i can select from you know all the other articles now so now this there's this article now i can simply drop down and i can select this now another interesting thing here is if you want to remove any particular text that should not be linked you can simply remove this and then that's it or if you want to link to complete word you can do that either way now this is another very good feature this plugin is really fast and helps in faster internal, internal linking now this is not done yet you need to select this and you need to select the text you need to select the article that you want to link to and once you are done uh, just simply click on update post all right now the post has been updated there will be another refresh and that's it so this is one of the thing that you can add into your workflow. If you're running an agency, you let your content team know about this plugin and ask them to use this plugin. That will be really helpful. At the same time, few other things that you want to know about this plugin, which is there on their FAQ. What will happen if you remove this plugin? Now, even if you remove this plugin in the future, all the internal links that you have made in the past will stay in tech that are not dependent on the plugin itself. Will Link Whisper help me rank better in Google? Now, here's the, here's the thing which I already told you before that you need to make sure that when you're in doing an internal linking, it should be relevant. It should be something that, you know, logically makes sense that a user click on it and they'll find something very much relevant and they are more likely to read it. Rather than doing excessive internal linking, I would recommend like do mindful internal linking that is going to be really helpful. And pretty much that's it. Now the plugin cost about $67. Uh, which I believe is a little on the higher side, but if you're running a professional website, you know, I think like the cost definitely pays off in, in, in some time. You can also buy three site license, which is co which cost about $97. There's one feature which I believe the plugin is missing that is automatic linking. Now uh, that feature was in SEO smart link, but I do understand that even if this plugin developer don't allow this feature because that, that feature is overrated and sometimes it does not give the result that you're looking for so this kind of internal linking is definitely helpful and especially now we are getting in the time when we create long articles well this plugin is going to be really helpful so here you go go ahead download the link whisper plugin and i hope it helps you in case if you have any question about this plugin feel free to let me know in the comment section below i'll leave all the links in the description so that you can make most out of it if there is any uh, coupon for this plugin you'll find it in the description below with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.